Hi. Today I want to talk about some maze books that I like. Um, I made a video about kids books that I like and it kind of gave me the idea. I showed off this book, Monster Mazes, and I realized that I have quite a few of these so I can make a video about them. This one here has to do with like monsters and gruesome, ghoulish group of mazes. And I already showed some earlier or in the other video. There's this one. I just think the drawings are just so adorable. I like this a lot. Yeah, moving on to the other ones. There's this one here, Trailblazers Madcap Mazes. Um, this is written and illustrated by Tony and Tony, two Tonys, Teller Rico. It will go fun for ages 7 to 70. I'll read you the back. It says, this is like a cartoon. Hi, I'm Trailblazer and popcorn is great ba brain food. <laughs> it's showtime, so take your seat and get ready to tackle the intricate tangles in madcap mazes. It's a challenge for everyone, so join the fun in page after page of edge of your seat excitement. This one, they have like a little story. Well, actually the other one had a little story too. They have a little story and then they have the maze. This one here, you have to like step on the popcorn kernels. <laughs> And it's just like, um, it's in the, in the theater, there's those different doors for the different shows, and they just have like funny titles like, The Strange Case of Dr. Hugo Nuts, <laughs> like Hugo Nuts, Mad Bad Crows, <laughs> they're just very comical books. One here, which is like a snowy maze, there's a yeti. It's gonna get ya. It's cool. It's like in a house. If I can show the whole thing. The house. Thank you. Um, okay, you start here and you have to make way from the attic to the out the front door there. I always like to look at this one probably because like the has um, the stairs. I was saying that I like pictures with stairs in them. <laughs> There's stairs there there and different doorways and all that kind of stuff. I like paths that lead to nowhere and that kind of thing. This one here is in the mall. Escalator or whatever. I'm having a sale for burst balloons. I'm having a sale for elephants. I'm having a sale for balls and cans. They're just so like cute and funny and humorous and adorably drawn and just adorable in general. This one here to get like across the street you have to follow it by going like the alphabet so A, B, C, D, E like that. Clever. And then of course they have the answers at the back. They usually have the answers at the back. The next one is Pipsqueak's Maze Party, a book of beginning mazes, but they're just so cute, by Patrick Merrill, which is the same guy that did the monster mazes. He must be very, very, very talented. <laughs> um, so this one here is um, the Pipsqueaks, which are all these little mice, so those are the characters. The, pix the Pipsqueaks are ready to party. In this book of beginning mazes, help the Pipsqueaks. That is hard to say. Help the pipsqueaks race through a room full of ribbons, reach the top of a sky-high birthday cake, which is an adorable drawing. I can't wait to show you guys the cake. Oh, and there's also a bathtub scene. I want to show you that scene too. <laughs> a scene. Um, float across a bathtub. There it is. Float across a bathtub filled with chocolate sauce. Can you imagine? And that's not all. There are many other birthday surprises waiting for you inside the fun and filled page of Maze Party. Mm. Really, really, really cute. Really, really cute. Here's what it says at the beginning. Birthday party, noon today. You're invited. Come and play. 
Lots of ice cream, lots of fun, lots of ways to be done. So, I guess they got that invitation in the mail to come to the party. This is the first one where, um, yeah, this one here also has a little rhyme in front of it, which is adorable. And then, so they have to make it from here to here to go in the party. They're going through what looks like the basement window, <laughs> like mice do. So they go around, wee! This one also it features a cat, which is like, you know, always trying to get them since they're mice. But this one here, they have to like, you have to like follow their little paint trail there from where they stepped in the paint. And they're trying to pin the tail on the cat. <laughs> the um, sky high birthday cake. Isn't it adorable? And you have to like follow the icing to get to the top of the, where the cherry is, and the whipped cream. Too. Um, this is the picnic or bar it's a birthday barbecue hot dogs, pickles, cheese, fondue. So they have to go there, through there, and there to get to the food there. Doesn't look good. They have um, whatever that's supposed to be peanut butter and bread, and hot dogs, and chips, and <laughs> a little tiny fondue. It's so cute. Also, they have these um, pink bags of candy, I guess, hidden in each maze, and you have to try and find them. There's that one there. The um, adorable bathtub filled with chocolate sauce. Look at that! It's like they filled it with the chocolate sauce and they put scoops of ice cream to make the maze and then they have the castle there and all the empty cans and the ice cream they're scooping out of the buckets. The ladder. <laughs> and then the, flo the mice are floating around it, in it um, on spoons. Like, it's just so adorable. Surprise, surprise, at the end, the birthday party turns out to be for the cat. And you get to go over there to her present. What a twist. This is what this is what was in the present um, for the cat I showed you at the end. It's a gigantic mouse. <laughs> Stuffed mouse. I think the next one I'm going to show you might be my favorite. It's called Amazing Mazes, Mind Bending Mazes for Ages 6 to 60 by Rolf. Hemen or Hymen, I don't know, one or the other. This one here on the cover is definitely my favorite just because I think if you've been ta paying attention, as you can see, it is full of little stairways. <laughs> so I've always been my favorite. It's just so pretty. And little doorways and stuff, I like that. I like that. Um, this one says on the back, um, lose yourself, find your way out, and lose yourself again in this collection of amazing mazes and mind-bending puzzles. Um, yeah. But the story of this one is there's three kids um, named Ben, Tom, and Lila, and they're each like going through the mazes and they have to, you know, obviously find their way out. This one here, they're visiting um, a film set. <laughs> and the set is a labyrinth, which is just cool. And, you know, obviously it goes through the labyrinth. And then they tell you here what they want, like, you to do in the maze and stuff. Here's my favorite one again. This one here, um, you have to, like, pick a sock. And then follow, like, the yellow sock follows the yellow path until you get to this clothesline where the other sock is. <laughs> Cute. Also really pretty. It's like um, a picnic. They're having a picnic there, but they have to go and find the lemonade stand, the apple stand, and the ice cream stand. But they have to go like either walking or like on in a boat. Um, just all look at all the little bridges, bridges. And this one too. Look at this one. Are you sure you can tell why I like this? <laughs> this one here is cool too. It's a boat called. Kulangatu, and you have to go and like um, untangle the phone lines and that kind of thing. This one here um, is called Log Jam, and you have to like either take a boat or the walk on the logs to try and find these ones and these ones and this one here. And there's like a secret message here. It says, "Shame on you for chopping down all those trees." <laughs> A winter scene called Tracks in the Snow, and you have to follow the footprints and the rabbit prints and then the ski print 
trail or prints, I guess. Q2, it's called Fruitful Quest. Um, you can either, like go through all this, um, or you can like go through here. Each one has like three different ways you can do it. And you have to make way to the blueberry tree, the lemon tree, and I think it's a cherry tree. Oh, um, plum, not blueberry. <laughs> the blueberry tree. Like a road one. Can I follow the road? And last one I have isn't like really like mazes per se, but it's still like a puzzle book, and that's Puzzle Dungeon. Um, this is like a series by Osborne, Young Puzzle Books. It's just by Suzanne Lee, illustrated by Brenda Ha. There's like a, a whole series of these where it's like it's like puzzle and then whatever. Like there's oh here's also in this series Puzzle Island, Puzzle Town, Puzzle Farm, Puzzle Castle, Puzzle Planet, and Puzzle Mountain. And this is the only one I have, but I definitely like to have more because they're just so adorable. This is about um, when Carla's Carla, which is this one. Best friend Billy, which is this one, goes exploring in Puzzle Dungeon, which is the dungeon, and doesn't come back, Carla sets off to find him. Join Carla as she travels deep into the mysterious Puzzle Dungeon, sneak past poisonous snakes, clamber down a giant spider's web, and meet some very strange dungeon creatures as you go. Will Carla ever find Billy and the way out of Puzzle Dungeon? And this is so adorable drawing. Um... There, this is Carla's room. And she just has like, she has a, quite a messy room. It's fun looking at all this stuff. I never noticed before, but the book she has on her shelf says, Brave Dungeon Explorer. <laughs> That's like foreshadowing. This is the, um, um, I guess outside her town or whatever. This is her town, I guess. And she has to pick one of these doors to go to the dungeon. And this is cool too. And, and it's like stairs and stuff. <laughs> and ladders. And this is, I guess, the dungeon part. Where there's about a whole bunch of writing on the wall and some it's backwards. This is the menu. Monday bread and water, Tuesday bread and water, Wednesday pie and chips, Thursday bread and water, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday bread and what? Water and bread. <laughs> the snakes. And I think in here you have, to, you have to find all the green mushrooms to feed to the snakes. Here is the cavern. This is where Billy is. He's sleeping. And you have to find something to, um, the flask. You have to find the flask right here to wake Billy up. And this is cute too, you have to choose, um, this is like a dock and you have to choose a boat and they all look horrible to get out to the city or town or wherever they live. And then you're back there, home at last. This is where they live, I guess this is a house, I don't know. And they're all like looking for them, but there they are. Waterfall. Yeah. So these are my adorable maze books. And I uh, will see you later.